Thank you. <laughs> it says leave meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is uh, just what I've gone through this month. Um, as you would expect, there's there's a few possibilities, but um, old graph. What can I get? And this is based on also the the MACD and also the um, the, the MPI crossover as well. So I put them all together, really, trying to run different watch lists every day is a bit of a nightmare. But I've just used, I, I've also put the RS on. I think I put this on last month. It's nice just to see that trajectory. But when I look at it, sometimes it makes a difference and sometimes it doesn't. You would think if the RS is creeping up, then the stock is you know, going to be safer, which they purport it to be. But um, sometimes it, the, R, the, the EPS just keeps going with it, which is a good sign, I suppose. Um, TRMD, we've got a cross there. I am muted on this, but I can't understand why I'm... Oh, is that all right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so this is just broken out here, and it's just a case of waiting for that to, to break at the top. STRL. This looks pretty good and again just got to wait for that break there um I've, I've noticed recently on the valuations of a lot of us stocks we get this same pattern here has anybody noticed that recently i don't know if that's is that, is that value yeah it's happened on quite a few stocks where it's they're all the same not, not all of them but um the price is going up the value goes up it's going to its results uh, I, I don't know. If you were to put the right, uh, yeah, no, it's on there, but that's what I can't understand. You'll see that little dog. It's going to be interest rate. The only thing that really covers all stocks. Hmm. Is it four, four, four well, there's the thing, they're not all the same. But I, I recognize that pattern there on quite a few. So yeah. it's the same pattern, but at different times, yeah? No, it's the same pattern, yeah, at the same time. But let's just go through it. You probably see a couple more. I, I, I noticed it when I went through the top 100 and I thought it was a bit strange, but perhaps it's me. Um, but there is a bit of divergence here on the MACDs, you can see there. Um, and the valuation is quite, quite good. So um, this is heavy industry, heavy construction. See it again there, see that? Yeah, I'll just go back. <coughs> Sorry? But why isn't it on all stocks though? You know, it's just something which I noticed. Yeah, it's strange. Um, this one I did um, put in a watch list only for it to tank yesterday. I don't know what that, they did mention it on Bloomberg, but I can't remember what it was. So <laughs> just goes to show you what can happen. You know, you must wait for that break above. Um, and that was a bit of a disaster to you to trade that one. But to be fair, it, there was no cross. It was just a matter of waiting for it. This is what I'm saying about this RS. You know, it's nice to see it, a lovely trajectory there, going up from one point two to 1.4 nearly. And then you get that. So it's obviously not as safe as what they think it is. You know, it's, uh, I don't know whether you should take that as gospel or what, but um, FRO, I did actually trade this, I had a couple of days in there, but it was a break of trend there. And it, it, that did work. A little bit of an uptick on the RT11 there. Yeah, 91 versus 89. Um, the MACD's doing quite well. That was thrown up on one of the sector searches as well. Um, you know, as, as a, a good stock to look at, but the overall conditions 
weren't doing me, weren't very good. So mm. I didn't, I didn't invest in it. Yeah. But you know, I just like the spread between the value and the, um, the and the price action as well. Um, it, that looks quite good. Oh yeah, that's shipping. Yeah, so that seems that that's influenced, I suppose, about what China's doing, also the oil price. Um, this one I, I looked at this morning. I think it was. And again, you can see the RS going up quite well. Earnings are steady. A little uptick in the MACD there. Again, you've got to wait for this break. Um, five and forty of the stop are really close together, so that just that, you have a similar sort of thing there. Look, see that? It just bounced off. Um, that was tighter in to the to the moving averages of the stop. But, um, I quite like that one. Just again, just wait for that break, and we've got this similar pattern with the, uh, the valuation. I shall have to email them or phone up Vectorless and just ask them what that is. And again, you see it there a sudden leg up. I, I can't figure out what it is, um, but this is Jacobs, the engineering company. Oh, I suppose if their infrastructure and uh, program gets in full swing, then they should do very well. Um, what's the tick on that one, What's the what, sorry? The uh, ticker. ticker. Oh, J, sorry. Just J, Yeah. Right. Um, okay, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, the earnings are steady. Um, but if that, <coughs> the longer that you see this trend line, um, when you get a breakout, then it is generally quite good. <laughs> so why are you the E? The, um, Sorry? The E with the earnings, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Surprising that's come down recently if Biden has given all these billions to construction <coughs> and what have you. But it demands as well. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, but they're all over the world, these people. Um, Got yeah, that's it. Well, one by me. Over about four years ago. Sorry, they were taken over about four years ago and then split. Right, they split. Yeah, well, this was, they, they did a lot of petrochemical work as well, James. Yeah, and the same as Foster Wheeler, which is now wood, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. in fact, they are under the takeover as well. Yeah, in fact, so if, if I look, say this is a split company. Uh, well, about four years ago, um, it was taken over, mm. and I believe they split. Building a civil side of the business hmm. away from the petrochemical. So, yeah. what is this bit? That looks like the buildings. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which would have thought would be the Yeah. There's also a downtrend there, a flag, but it's not one of uh, what David would call, you know, a bull flag. I, well, it is a flag, but it's, it's come right the way down. So, yeah. but again, just wait for that break, see what happens. We get a buy up there. It did it there. A really steep one, but next. Um, yeah, this was a MACD cross. Um, there was an RT11 cross in there. Yeah. But it is not much of a downtrend. It's, um, again, it's got to wait for the buy. And perhaps across from there and let it see what happens. CIGI -I is one I've been looking at. That looks like it's going to cross at some point. It did break the trend there, but it's come back slightly. And it has touched that trend line. And there is some sort of a flag going on there. It's a little bit long in the tooth. But again, you've got this leg up again nice big spread between the uh, valuation and value and, and the price you know it's 40 odd percent there um building and maintenance i mean building has been a top sector in the states for quite a while now hasn't it yeah mm. advanced drain another building it's not quite so this one 
Yeah, it's a difficult one to plot. Maybe it's there, I don't know. Well, prove that. Yeah. The IRS is above one. The earnings are flat line for a long time, but uh, at least the valuation is above the price, which is good. Malibu boats, this is one I've been looking at. It's just about the cross, I think. Oh, is it cross already? Not quite. Yeah, I can't see that. You can't more, see it? No, there's more and more Americans got more and more leisure time. Oh, yeah. I'd be cutting back this year. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but it's just from the technical position. Yeah. I like the way it's come down there and taken up that low. I did it there before, look. It bounced off. I think that's one what David would like. He's seen that. I think he's mentioned that quite a few times and then it comes down and then reverses. But just wait for a convincing break, I suppose. A lot of these haven't gone on to a buy yet. Not that that's a problem. Um, you generally want them when they're on a hold. But the way the US market is at the moment, you, know, you, can, see, you can see that pressure is, is it's not convincing enough. If you put that in a three year chart, you probably see the post COVID surge. Yeah. Mm. Well, that was COVID, wasn't it? Brilliantly. Plus, it's gone up nearly a five bagger. Mm. It seems like Winnie Baker did well. Actually. Yeah, they did actually. Yeah. I wonder where their market is, Winnie. Is it mainly in, in the States? It, is it a Canadian company? It's a Canadian company. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. No, I know they do export over the, all over the world. Yeah. Let's have a look at the next one. SLGN. Container metal and glass. I will just wait for this to be more positive, really. I don't see much there, but it's just one to watch. Just yeah. see. SpaceX X market crash, they got and blew up. Sorry? SpaceX market blew up. Did it? All right. On the pad? Uh, and then it's the flight. Oh, world's biggest rocket. Jesus. Sorry. Thanks for the good news. <laughs> that must have been quite a, a ball of fire in the sky. Crazy. Does it affect a Tesla stock? Yes, I'm up 50%. It doesn't mean it since the flight, but it, it might have done the separation. There is a mini inverse head and shoulders, as you can see. In the spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's another one for the watch list. Um, let's have a look. MCFT, leisure products. I'm not sure what sort of leisure products, but uh, let's just take that off there and see what's going on with the stop. Yeah, that's. Very nearly going to cross there, and you got that there as well. The MACD is positive. RS is just about above one, but the earnings are good compared to the price. It's four, so it's fourteen. It's at seven to one, isn't it? And you can see the price is tucked in really tight there. See that? Normally, when you get across, the price is up here somewhere, way away. Um, so, um, you know, that's that one. Let's have a, a look at the master watch list. Good question. How do you produce these watch lists? Uh, from a search, uni search. Do you publish that in the search? Sorry? Do you publish that in the search? Yeah, yeah. profit. <laughs> yeah, well, no, it's just all uh, posted. Um, I can show you that later, no problem. It, it consists of three, really, so that this near perfect indicator and also a MACD which were sort of created here. Um, right, so we were, where were we last month? <laughs> <laughs> so 
But this has been one of the top VST stocks for a while, isn't it? Yeah. I think we were, where were we last month? No, uh, oh, yeah, I'm not sure. So it was somewhere there, so that's done reasonably well. Again, you've just got to wait for that triple shot to break. That was on the list. I like the way this has come down to the gap level. See that? There's a little gap in there. I think that was it. Yeah, the nerve was cool. So that's taken out that low. Again, you've got this reasonably good spread between the price and the, and the valuation. Um, and the RT and then the, uh, the RS is, what is that one? 1.37, so it's not bad. See how well that's done. <coughs> the earnings have sort of mirrored it. This is the sort of thing which I mean. It's quite good. See how it's like on it. Sigma lithium. Thought we were going to break there. I'm watching that daily. It's just this. It wants a bit more impetus, I suppose, to break through, but it looks like it will at, at some point. But the RT5 is crossing down now below the, uh, the 40, so just be cautious of that. It doesn't have to really mean much. Last month, but it's there. Yeah, so that, that would have. I like the way it's tested that double bottom again. See that? They're beautiful. Very rarely fell, you know. Comes down, did it there. Off it goes. That's a similar thing. But I think it's, I think that's a fib level as well. So that's um, it's reached a resistance point there. PCAR. They've got a reasonably high RS 1.2 nearly. Just wait for that break. Again, you've got this little that similar pattern on the on the valuation leg. <clears throat> so, what did you reckon that could be, Jonathan? Um, inflation drop. Is, hmm. is the rising um, inflation rate going to be the cause of the inflation drop? No, I, I just make a note of, of what it. Yeah. It, it does influence. If that was down there at 50, so I don't know, 50 now is a bit, a bit dangerous. So, so then you can put that Yeah, yeah. But with the valuation, if I see the value way, way underneath price, I just look at see how it's, if it's always been under price, then chance that will keep on. You know, it's when you see the fluctuation. Um, it doesn't influence me that much when it's underneath price and been there for a while. If you look at two UK stocks, which is YouGov and Rightmove, that, that's always been the case. So it shouldn't really influence you that much. Right. But it is something which I take a note of. If the price is sort of dropping and that's going up, that's always good, isn't it? It does represent good value. Kroger, this is one I should have taken. It broke out of there, look, that's typical. Let's come back. Um, again, you've got this huge valuation uplift. I do like that one. I'm waiting for it to come back and, and give a double bottom there. It's a discount. I'm not sure actually. Sure. Kroger. I know that. Um, what's the software that they. Uh, what's the home delivery food? Picardo, yeah, they licensed their, their software to them, didn't they? About three years ago. Yeah. But I, I would wait for that double bottom to come down and just test that. That could represent a good position. I'm waiting for that. Uh, MOD. Again, that's uh, prices. Let's take the price off. See, it's really tight. If you get a nice cross there, the upside that should represent a good good entry point. It did it there? Look, see that? Right on the level. So let's see. Yeah. 
checkpoint is another one. I quite like that. Again, you've got this uh, value uplift. Yeah. And the five is above the 40 there, it's rising up quite steadily. The RS is uh, kind of drifting downwards, but whether you want to take any notes of that or not, I don't know. I would suspect that's going to come down a little bit, perhaps to these levels and then go. But, uh, that's good. Marathon oil. Last month. Yeah, there we were there last month. See how it came down and tested that double bottom. See how it works. But oil is, is coming off of it now, isn't it? Um, <coughs> reserves have gone down though. Sorry? I said reserves have gone down, so. Hmm. Yeah. It just depends what the salary is going to do, what IFET's going to do. Yeah. But that, that eight and a half percent rise we got in, in, in oil that time in the futures two, was it three weeks ago? It's because of the cut they made. Mm. But I'm just afraid that they'll say, oh, do you know what? Well, increase production again. I just don't trust them. Uh, and there are quite a few good oil stocks, but you've just got to be mindful of the, the oil price, I suppose, and what could happen. Uh, this was another break. That was last month, wasn't it? Yep, there somewhere. Yep. And that's just come right off. Put that work. Computer network. So right, that's it. Uh, yeah. That's where they both have a long clear run. That's one of those things where we, it's the day before the thing taking off half. Yeah. And then we just stop the break even. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And that's what well, otherwise you probably end up with nothing. Yeah. Well, maybe back to break even now on that one. Yeah. Um, but this is, yeah, that's right. And they just look, observe these tops. Uh, that's what I do. It's the same search work on UK stocks. Uh, yeah, you just don't get that many. Right. No, there's chain really because it's, it's quite a good search and. Uh, I'll have to show you it later. Great. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Steve. No problem. Should we have a, a little drink break? Mm -hmm. Two minutes. Mr. Chair. Can I just <laughs> set it up? Can I show you a slide? That's for it. Who's the WhatsApp? Because I'm not in the WhatsApp group. Who's the WhatsApp admin? Uh, Phil is the 